day 48, becoming Christopher Cruz. Oh, I was just thinking like a week ago, a week ago, a week ago, I was uh, getting $5 in gas. <laughs> and now I've got $25,000 to work with for my business. Like <laughs> there are videos where I said, all right, God, angels, all right, angels, God, whoever's out there, bring me the money. And I got a loan for $7,000. My line of credit got approved for $15,000. And I sold my first MVP program. So I went from getting $5 in gas to having $25,000 to grow my freaking empire, which is just so exciting. Now, the crazy thing is um, I applied for the $20,000 credit. Didn't get approved um, because my credit sucks dick. Um, student loans, fucking student loans. And, um, and so, but my grandpa was willing to co-sign. And so we applied, but I was, ca I called the loan lady last week, probably six or seven times and left her four or five voicemails. Didn't get back to me. Didn't get back to me. And then finally did Friday afternoon. And she's like, all right, we'll have to submit the application on Monday. And I called her and left her voicemail this morning, asked her what I needed to do. And she just sent me an email this afternoon just saying it's approved. I didn't do anything. It was just approved. And that's no accident. It's no accident because I had that conversation last night. And I had to do something that was difficult. But like I said, God always rewards people who take action in alignment with courage and faith. So it's no coincidence that that got approved today. No coincidence at all, but it's just amazing how I could go from a week ago <laughs> being like just totally broke as fuck, didn't even have money for Facebook ads for my business, to now I've got plenty to work with to, uh, to make this business succeed. So it's amazing how quickly things can change amazing you just have to take action because when it first got declined i asked the um the loan officer and she's like yeah I, there aren't really any other options i was like damn and then my grandpa said oh call and talk to the lady at the bank that he's known for like 20 years and i called her and she was, she was like well you can apply for this one and i was like really she's like yeah it's not twenty thousand, but it's 15. i was like okay and now here we are see if i would have given up if I would have given in, that would have never happened. So now the cool thing is I get a chance to be responsible again with money. Isn't that exciting? That is exciting. I'm so ready to be responsible because I'm going to turn this $25,000 into a multi-billion dollar company that leads a revolution that changes the world. So now, I think what's cool is the other week, last week, <laughs> when I had like no money left, I feel like I was pretty chill about it. I was pretty calm. I was like not incredibly stressed or freaking out. I was just like, it's all good. It'll come. It'll come. Had that faith. And now here it is, which is really cool. So now, ah. Now I could do so many things that I want to do for this business. So many things that I need to do for this business. Oh my God. So much opportunity now. That's very, very, very exciting. Huh? God, look how beautiful it is out here. I'm going to miss going on these walks. Well, even when it's snowing, I'll go. But that was amazing, amazing news today. And I'm rearranging my room to shift up the energy um, because this morning I was like, oh, like feeling a little, just kind of like, fuck, I can't go to the coffee shop. The coffee shop, I'm telling you, that was my, my getaway. That was my safe place. My little blankie, <laughs> my security blankie. Um, but now 
no one can dine in anymore, so I can't really go to the coffee shop and work. So I was like, fuck, I'm gonna be stuck in my room all day. Like, it's gonna be snowing outside and cold as fuck. Like, oh my God. And that was like the little bitch ass sheep in me. And my lion's like, let's make this room a place that you want to be. A place that feels amazing and has great energy and is inspiring you and just feels good. And so went to Ikea, got some stuff, got this chair that I can sit and read in <clears throat> and it'll be a good challenge. Like it's all happening for a reason. It is no accident that this is happening right now. I'm meant to not go to the coffee shop. Otherwise it would have stayed open. So, but I feel this kind of excitement in my soul. I can finally do all the things for my business that I've been wanting to do. Damn. And I've got this MVP program, which is so incredibly good. It is so fucking good. Um, yeah. So, this is a big deal and a big day. On the relationship front, I miss her a lot. And that's all I'll say about that. So I'm gonna go sit on the bench, relax, maybe meditate a little bit, think about life, think about my business, um, and then go home and get that fucking room on point.